Hey guys, Kevin here, Blue Shell Gaming. I'm hiding behind all these boxes. And uh, we got a cool video for you today. All of these boxes here, let's keep going. There we go. Have CGC graded video games inside. Are you ready for the biggest CGC unboxing video right here? at Blue Shell Gaming. I'm ready, I'm excited. I've been sitting on these games since December and uh, I can't wait to see what grades I got. But wait, I'm not quite ready yet. Be right back. All right, I think we're ready now. I got to hang out with the graders at Portland Retro Game Expo, PRGE, and uh, I got to bring in my games live and uh, look over the, the graders with them, and they gave me some cool swag. So I figured I might as well put on the fit to go with it as we open these boxes of graded games. Uh, I don't know where to start. There's so much here. Um, one at a time, I guess. Let's go. Some of these boxes are really heavy. And a couple of them, like this one, is really light. I think I know which game this is. There was one game that I bought at the uh, Expo, at Portland uh, Retro Games Expo, uh, after I had already done my submission. And uh, I bought it from a friend, and I was really excited about it. So this is actually for my personal collection. And I went back and I added it to the graded games. So, uh... I'm excited to see what I got going on here. I didn't look at any of my grades. I didn't look at the email. You can click on it, you can go to your account. I, so I don't know at all what I'm gonna be getting, but I'm really excited. And this is the one, yes, this is the one. Let's see, make sure it's upside down. All right, we wanna pull it out upside down and we wanna look at this. This is, which side is the grade on? I'm looking at it. This, the grade's on the right side. So, this side. Am I going to cover the right side? Ooh. I cover the right side? Oh, I covered the wrong side. All right, we learned. Now we'll do it right from the, for the rest of the videos. This is Trog on the NES. Factory sealed Trog on the NES. That is really cool. 9.6 A plus grade. We definitely want to uh, show off a little bit of the features of the CGC graded games. They are uh, very unique and they're very much like their uh, comic books where they have titles listed on the top. So if you stack them, you can read the titles and it has the grade listed as well. 9.6 A plus on the side there. Um, and then a little information on the back, Trog, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, 1991 with our QR code. Um, it even talks about the oval, the, the revision number, Rev A, H seam, A plus. So the highest you can get is like a 9.8 A plus plus. So it's uh, one level down on the seal. And I know the seal had a couple of spots where it had just their little pressure pulls on it. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to see the 9.6 A plus seal on the trog this is actually really cool too i love the blue art on it with the blue uh, cgc um, label so this is mine my personal collection can't have it won't get it not for sale um, but that's why i opened this box first because i knew that that one was in there because it was only one nice and light let's get let's get back to counter height and then we're going to bring out the next box. This one feels like there's a few more games in here. Um, I, I graded a little bit of everything. Everything we graded was sealed. We didn't grade anything CIB. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about grading video games. Um, you know, the, there's some people that like it, some people that don't like it. Um, you know, a lot of people don't like uh, WADA and some of the, the things that WADA has been doing and, and uh, going, you know, here's a little, little insert inside, a little information. A little breakdown of the consoles and the things that they grade. Um, I got to hold a few of these in my hands in Portland 
And so uh, I really felt like the, the quality, the durability, the, the setup of their casing, and then the aesthetic um, is really appealing to me. I know a lot of people are contentious about uh, grading games just because of um, the collector market and so, that sort of thing. But I feel like with a game like this, this is a, a 1991 sealed NES game. Are you really gonna break the seal on this to play it? If this game was open in CIB, I can understand you wanting to open it and play it and play the game because that's what games are meant for. But a sealed game from 1991, uh, the best thing you can do to preserve this game is to encase it in plastic or acrylic and uh, get a grade behind it so you know that condition's gonna stay that way forever. That's my philosophy. I, uh, I will grade CIB stuff only if it's super rare. Um, oh, this is another really cool one. This actually came into our shop on a trade. There's going to be a lot of these games from the same trade. Now, how did I do it last time? I did it wrong. All right, my grade's on the right side, so I need to cover this side up. So this is, you see the, the light's not shining on it wrong. A boy and his blob, NES, 1990. The seal on this one, I remember being very nice. So we got another A+, plus, no A++, plus plus, but an A plus seal. Let's see what we got for our grade here. Let me flip it over this way. Another 9.6, 9.6 A plus on a boy and his blob. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I know this one had some scratches on the, on the, the seal. So that's why it didn't get an A++, but um, the, the edges and the corners on that game were really nice. And so um, I was excited to see that one uh, as well. Looks like we have another, yeah, another NES game here. Let's get in here. We need to keep it moving. We have boxes full of games to go through. Boxes and boxes full. All right, let's see. This one is the Star Trek 25th Anniversary NES, 1991. Let's cover up the grade again. Let's see what we got here. There we go, Star Trek 25th Anniversary. This one only got an A rating on the seal. I know there was some, some pressure tears on this side, not tears, but like, you know, like pressure marks. And then our actual grade is a 9.4. So there we go. Three nine fours, one A, two A pluses, all NES sealed games. I'm gonna keep my pile going over here. All right, those are the little boxes. We have four of these guys next. Let's see what we can do. I think these ones slide off. We can touch the bottom and open it up. Don't use these games and I'm gonna leave. don't fall over there we go they do they do stack nicely into each other so they stack well and like I said so you can read the, the title and the information from the side as well um, but they do stack nicely together as a set actually I was laying them down don't stand them back up Kevin come on I want to be surprised by these as well. I was waiting and waiting and waiting, wanting to sneak a peek and see what I got. So we're going to pull these out one at a time and see what we got here. All right. This is uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for the GameCube. Right here. Factory sealed. This is the player's choice version, but it is sealed. Paper Mario thousand year door and it's got an a rating it looks like on the seal and our grade is 9.0 Ooh, 9.0 all 
wonder why they got a 9 0. Oh. I know some of these, if they put the, um, they put the cover art in kind of at a slant or they cut it a little off or it has a little too much plastic showing or not enough showing on one side, uh, that will affect the grade of the actual game there. And then I know this one got an A rating on the seal because there was some, some wear, some rub, some like shelf wear on it. Uh, but that's our first GameCube game, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And then I think we have another, yes, we have two copies of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. This is another player's choice. This one got an A plus seal, so we got a better seal here. And a 9-4. There we go. Let's see. Let's, let's do the side by side on these. Why would this one get a 9 and this one get a 9-4? See if I can tell. I don't know if I can tell. People smarter than me did this. So, oh yeah, I can see it now. The actual cover art on the 9.0 is slid down from the top and this one is lined up higher so the alignment of the artwork inside of the case makes a big difference if it's not centered in the case properly but see this one's actually slipping up on this side that's kind of strange i'm i'm wondering if there was something else they saw they use microscopes and uh, they can tell better than i can so all right, we got another GameCube game here. Uh, excited for this one. Zelda, Wind Waker, I can see it through the back. It's got an A plus on the seal, another player's choice. And our grade is a 9-4. 9-4, A plus, Zelda, Wind Waker. Boom, boom. I'm gonna put that right on top of the 9-4 Paper Mario. All right, this one's just super cool. That's why I got it graded. It's not worth a ton, um, but I think uh, just having a sealed copy and uh, getting it graded, just kind of cool. Star Wars Knights of the Republic. It only got an A rating on the seal. I know there was some pretty heavy shelf wear along the spine, uh, just rubbing against other games. Um, and there was a pretty good like scratch on it. So an A rating is not bad. Uh, oh, there's a six there. 9-6, there we go. This is our highest. We got 9-6 A's and we got 9-6 A pluses on the NES games, but we haven't seen anything 9-8 yet. So I'm excited to see if we get any 9-8s. Um, right now we're sitting at 9-4s and 9-6s on the, uh, as our mark with, a, with one 9.0. This one's just super cool. You kind of got to grade this too. Um, this one was just super clean. It got an A-plus rating on the on the seal. Little Smash Brawl. Everybody loves Smash. The artwork's great. It looks really cool on the shelf. Um, so that's why I graded that one. 9-4 A-plus. We will take that. Anything over a 9-4 nine, nine, over is good in my opinion. Um, you know, not everything is going to be perfect. This one does look like the paperwork is, a, or the artwork is misaligned or it's kind of at a slant. They might have cut it a little crooked or installed it a little crooked. That kind of happens. Uh, there's a big one in one of these boxes that I know even the graders, when we talked about it, they showed me how the, the artwork was slanted in it, but I had to grade it because it was too cool of a game to not grade it. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything in here. This box is still heavy. It's because they, I mean, they pack them in these cardboard sleeves, so they have really good padding in them. Um, they get packed well, they get shipped out well. Don't gotta worry about your stuff. This one is pretty hefty right here. Whew, let's go. This is like a lot of excitement for one day. Stab. There we go. The stab box. All right. 
spent all day trying to set up the cameras and get this ready because I had to shoot this video today. Uh, we are going to be heading out to the Level Up Expo or Level Up Games in Las Vegas uh, this next weekend. This, not, not this, but next weekend. Uh, and I will be taking a lot of these graded games out to level up. So if you're going to be in the Vegas area during level up or you're already planning to be at level up, uh, come by uh, Grand Line Games booth and hang out for a minute and look at some of these games in person. Uh, CGC games or CGC grading will not be there. Um, so maybe I'll be the only person at level up with graded games from CGC. So let's see what we got next. Oh, man. I kind of want to wait on that one. That one's exciting. I'm going to put it down here. That's, I know that one's going to get like a little bit worse grade. This one too. I'm excited about that one. What are all these? Okay, so now we got, let's move into something different. I like this. All right. Let's move into some PS1. PS1 graded games. So we got Armored Core PS1. Armor Core. It's got an A rating on the seal. This one I know looked really nice, except for the hang tab was unpunched a little bit. So I think that might've hurt the seal uh, rating a little bit and it had some shelf wear on it. But overall, um, really nice copy of Armor Core on the PS1. And uh, we got a 9.6. Case was mint. Game looks great just a little bit of wear on that seal to get an a instead of an a plus all right what else do we have in this box okay that one is also mine but i'm going to set that aside for a second because i'm going to look at the other ps1 game so we had the armor core and then we also have gundam battle assault 2. i've been sitting on this one for a while waiting for cgc grading to come available um, this one was a really nice game. Gundam games are always good. Uh, it's a PS1 Bandai classic, um, but it, do, it did have some pretty good wear and there was a spot where it looks like somebody had taken off the price sticker and when you take off the price sticker, it does hurt the seal a little bit. So it only got an A rating on the seal, but let's see what we got for the grade. 9.6, there we go, 9.6A. Two 9.6 PS1 games, Armor Core, then the Battle Salt 2. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's see. This one's, this one I bought for me. And then I went ahead and graded it because the game is very rare to find anyways. So if you've ever seen Robopon, the sun version, this is a game that has a little sun adapter on the top of it. This one came out of a warehouse of factory sealed only games uh, down in LA. Uh, some of you might know Dusty Games on whatnot. Um, Bobby's a, a good friend of mine and I was got to hang out at the warehouse and uh, I paid up for this because this is a pricey game to find sealed, but it's an A++ seal. When you get an A++ seal, that means it's mint mint. And let's see what we got here. Oh, I was hoping for our first 9.8, but we got a 9.6. A++. So on these GBA and Game Boy Color games, what happens is a lot of times they just, because the shrink wrap and the way that it shrinks the, the, the box itself, it will bend in a couple of the corners or it will flex down some of the cardboard. It's really hard to get a super high grade on cardboard boxes, um, especially ones that have been sitting in a warehouse forever. Uh, I was hoping for a 9.8, but we'll take the 9.6 A++. Um, if I don't get a 9.8 on anything in here, I might, I might riot. Just, just, just warning you, just heads up. So, I kept the best games that I have available for this grading. So I feel like some of these conditions are higher than you'll, you'll see anywhere else. And if none of these can get a 9.8, I don't know what game is gonna get a 9.8. Um, so, that's just my opinion. This game is super rad. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Now this came in the same lot from uh, the A Boy and His Blob. Um, the case has got a couple of marks on it. Um, but this one I know 
it had a rip on the back of the seal and um, there's some like pressure marks on the cardboard on the inside. Um, I'll show you some close-ups of that. But I knew that this the grade and the the seal grade wasn't gonna be great on this one, but I wanted to grade it because it was sealed Castlevania 3 and it's a super cool game anyways, and just having it encased was, was important. So we did get a B plus on the seal, which isn't terrible, um, especially having a rip in it. Um, I'll, I'll take that. Um, but I don't even know if I'm gonna get a nine on the actual grade because of the um, case. Yeah, 8.0, but we'll take the 8.0 B plus. Um, not, not very many of these you'll find out there. And if, uh, if I can, I'll show you some close-ups of those marks. Uh, it looks like somebody had put their paper on top of the box and were writing and the pressure from the pen actually pushed through onto the cardboard on the other side. So it is what it is, but it's still a sealed game and I would definitely not open it to play it. So encasing it, I think was the, the way to go on that one. This one I'm more excited about, and this one I really feel like um, should get a really good grade. This is a Snoopy's Sports Spectacular. And I talked to the graders when I was at Portland and we looked at this. There's actually a Sears sticker. I'll show you some close-ups of the Sears sticker um, with a little price tag over top of it, like they clearanced it out or marked it down. And I asked them about like, should I try to remove the sticker? Will that hurt the grade more? And they said, probably. But they said, honestly, the Sears sticker gives it a little bit of provenance and the sticker isn't in a place where it's going to impede any of the artwork. It doesn't cover Snoopy's face. It doesn't cover any of the writing. So they really said it's best to leave it on there because it actually wasn't gonna hurt the seal grade very much. And it sure didn't. We still got an A plus on the on the seal grade for the Snoopy Spectacular, Silly Sports Spectacular. Uh, let's see what we got for grade. This one was really clean. Oh, nine four. Not as clean as the other ones, I guess, because we got some nine sixes on some of the other NES games. Oh yeah, this one I think had a, oh, yeah. uh, there's a little, the, I think it's just the way that they folded the cardboard on the bottom, how the bottom flaps fold together. One of the sides didn't get folded completely flat, so it bumps up a little bit. And uh, on both sides, it's just they're, they're, they're creasing when they folded the box. And, you know, factories don't do everything perfect. Not everything you're going to find in a machine does, does everything perfect. A um, little bumped, but still really cool. Oh, yeah, 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 Here's some cool ones. This is Pandora's Tower Wii. Very clean seal. Got an A-plus seal on that guy. Pandora's Tower. Just kind of an uncommon game, and I figured um, instead of just leaving it in a box, we should get it graded now and uh, maybe speculate, hold on to it for a little while down the road. Um, could be worth a lot more if it has good grade 9.6 9.6 a plus the I will say and you know, let's see if I can get some close-up shots of it but I can't tell if this is actually like scuffs on the the uh, the shell itself or if um, if that can be wiped off but it looks like there's some pretty heavy wear already just coming straight out of the box brand new and uh i i don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be um or if that just got i mean they come bagged and they come in these in these cardboard holders but to me that looks like they're scuffing uh on it so i'll see if i can wipe it off with like a damp rag um and then also like the case itself let's see if i can get some close-ups of this it looks like there was some kind of tape or other material, or it's where they closed the, the, the shell. See if I can get a close-up of that too. Um, it, I don't know, it's like plastic, hard plastic remnant that wasn't shaved off or wasn't taken off properly. And the same marks that I see on the front, I see also on the back. So the actual casing of one of these. Well, see, the Snoopy has it too. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe send some pictures and uh, see if that's normal. 
Um, kind of strange, but we'll put it on the stack and we'll move on. Uh, this one is one of the ones we talked about when I was there and they showed me kind of how the, um, the miscut of the label was gonna hurt my total grade. So we did only get a B plus C, oh, there's a piece of broken plastic inside of my What in the world is happening? I'm going to have to uh, have to look into that. There's actually a shard of broken acrylic stuck to the inside of the casing. No, God, please, no, 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 no. A few moments later. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Um, I don't want to make this kind of video, so I'm not going to comment too much on the condition or what's going on with some of this other stuff. All I can do is show you what I see and what's going on with some of the errors or mistakes. Um, and then just we'll just move forward. Um, let's just look at the grades. Let's see what I got and then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, this one, they actually showed me uh, on the artwork how it's miscut. Let me show you a close up of it. Uh, on the back of the art where the mature rating is, they actually cut too low. So the, the printer actually printed it off centered or cut it off centered before they put it in. So um, I expected a lower grade on this. I did get a B plus on the seal. This is Conquer Live and Reloaded. Uh, B plus on the seal because there's a big tear here and a piece of the actual um, top of the, the plastic uh, visible. Um, but I just wanted to grade it because I'm not going to open a sealed conquer. This game is getting up there in price and it's actually just a really rad uh, game anyways. Um, let's see what we got for grade. Hey, 9-4. That's a lot better than I thought I would get because of the miscut. Um, he actually told me in person that it would get a 9-0 or lower because of that miscut. So either he didn't remember that conversation and see the miscut again, or um, it wasn't as bad as he originally thought, or maybe uh, he went and looked at other examples and those other examples also had uh, the same miscut. Maybe it was a factory error and all of them were miscut the same way. If all of them are miscut the same way, then you really can't error uh, somebody for having one that's miscut improperly. But, That piece of acrylic in there is really, it's scary because it's its a sharp shard. It's stuck to the front of the glass and it's pointing the sharp end right into the game itself. And I'm worried that um, any shake might stab into the seal and damage or break the seal. Um, so we'll figure that out later. I'll just move on. We got a Wii U, Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, some of the Wii U games, I was like, well, should we grade them? They're, they're newer games, um, but they're in such good condition. Like this got an A++ on the seal. So super mint seal. Um, the longer you wait to grade it, the more likely it is to get bumped or dinged or dented or scratched or you know something happened to the seal. So now that it's encased, it's got an A++ rating on the seal. It's not going to get any worse and it can't get any better because that's the highest seal rating you can get. So we got a, finally got a 9.8. I was ready to riot, but we got the 9.8 A++. Too bad it's on this Zelda and not the GameCube Zelda, but we'll still take it. All right, we have another Zelda Twilight Princess HD. When you send two, you expect one of them to get a different grade. This one's got an A++ seal. Okay, so we got the same seal. Let's see if we got the same grade. Can we get two 9.8s? Oh, this one got a 9.2. Let's look at the difference. Hmm. I wonder if, so how do you tell the difference in the condition of the game? If it's got the same condition seal all the way around, what makes the difference between this game 
in this game on grade of the game. I mean, that's a pretty drastic difference for two games that have the exact same seal rating and I can't see any differences. The only thing I can see is the black line on the top edge of the back is slightly thicker on one than the other. They're both lined up in the same position, slightly thicker on the 9.8 than on the 9.2, but I mean by a millimeter. So, okay. So guys, editing Kevin here, and I was looking at these after I finished filming this, and I found another shard broken, and unfortunately it's in the 9.8 Zelda and this piece here, I'm going to show you some footage so you can see a little bit better, is another broken piece of acrylic inside the casing. It looks like it's wedged in the corner. I'm not sure if this one's going to move around like the other one is. But I did want to show you this and uh, it's just a little disappointing. And as I edit this video, I get more and more disappointed at $1,000 worth of grading and finding these kind of condition issues. But all I can do is show you what I got. So here we go. One more. This is the big one of the three. The Wind Waker HD. This is the gold foil edition, the one that you could only get holographic cover is what it's called on here. They said uh, Wii U 2013 holographic cover, uh, Wind Waker HD. Uh, I believe it was like exclusive for like GameStop or a couple of different stores. So this is the uh, nicer one, A plus instead of A plus plus on the others. But uh, I know this one had a couple of little marks on the seal, so that's not bad. Uh, what do we get for grade? 9.0. Hmm. Maybe because the artwork has shifted down a little bit. It looks pretty lined up from side to side, but it is shifted slightly down from the top. It does seem a little, oh wait. Oh, there's a little indentation. Maybe that's something. I, you gotta hold them at different angles to kind of see. There's an indentation in this one where it looks like somebody just pressed down slightly. Let's see if I can get a close up of it and you can kind of see the, the small indentation on. And it actually goes into the cover art and that's where the grade is on the cover and on the casing on the inside of the seal. The seal grading is just for the seal itself. Hey guys, Editing Kevin here, and uh, I'm going to speed things along a little bit, but I do want to encourage you guys. I will be contacting CGC. I know a few people over there, um, and I will be finding out about some of the condition issues. I might seem a little deflated and maybe a little irritated in this video, but I really loved opening up these boxes. I really loved seeing what my grades were, and I, and I know not all of my grades came out the way that I wanted them to, but that doesn't mean that they didn't do their job well. Um, I'm going to find out about the acrylic pieces and some of the issues with the cases and some of the scuff marks and I'll, I'll do a follow-up video and get that information back to you uh, as soon as I can. But uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Keep going. We do got a few more and uh, I appreciate you guys being here. Oh, I, know, I know there was some like 3DS and DS stuff that I sent too. That must be what's in here. That's why it's lighter. Oh, there we go. This is a... Game Boy Advance game, Game Boy Advance, Yu-Gi-Oh, Destiny Board, Traveler, got an A++ seal, and we got a 9.6, there we go, that one's nice. So same as the Robopon, but um, I think they came from the same place too, so similar grades. I don't know what it takes to get a 9.8 on a on a GBA game, apparently. Um, that one's cool. I want to save that one for the last. I thought there was a DS game. Is there one? Oh, yeah. There's one DS game. One DS game. It is Dragon Quest Nine. Dragon Quest Nine on the DS. And uh, we got an A-plus seal. Let's see what we get on this guy. A... 
nine four nine point four a plus on the Dragon Quest Nine. There we go. And then the final game, and arguably the weirdest, but potentially most valuable at some point down the road, um, the Turbo Super Stunt Squad Wii U. I don't know why this game is so uncommon or rare, but this is a factory sealed turbo game. A plus seal. I got this from the same place that I got the Robocon, um, Dusty Games on whatnot, Bobby over there. Um, and I've been waiting to get this game graded for a while as well. So I'm excited. Got an A plus, not an A plus plus. So I, if I get a 9.6, I'll be happy, but I, I would still love to get a 9.8 on another game. Let's see if we can get it here. 9.4. <sighs> Maybe they just grade a little bit tougher than I was expecting. Um, this is kind of the first batch. Um, PRGE was the first time they were taking submissions. So uh, I'm not sure if it's, you know, kind of like they're starting at that, like, little tougher median to see what else they see. I mean, if you start at the top and you uh, get something that's in a better condition than the one that you had already graded a, a 9.6 or a 9.8, then it's hard to go higher. Um, I don't think I've ever seen uh, a graded game with a 10 that wasn't a Switch game or something brand new. Something that's hit the store shelves and has been there for a while and been in someone's collection is always gonna get a little bit lower grade. Um, and then it's hard to get 10s also if, um, you know, the manufacturer isn't perfect. So uh, when it comes to these games, it's not just about the condition you kept it in, but on how the manufacturer put the game together, put the artwork in, put the case in, uh, cut the paper, um, and then whether or not it ever got bumped, dinged, dented, scratched, or otherwise along the way. So this is what a thousand dollars worth of grading gets you. Um, I'll show off some more cool pictures and stuff at the end here. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. Follow us on Whatnot. Uh, the link's in the description below. You get 10 free dollars. I'm going to be showing off these games this week on my Whatnot show. And like I said, taking them all to the Vegas Level Up Games uh, Expo and see them in person. Um, if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to uh, hit us up on Instagram and uh, at Blue Shell Gaming and message us. And, and if there's anything you want, let me know and we can make something work for you. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you stayed all the way to the end, would you let me know in the comments down below and tell me what your favorite of all the graded games was uh, and like and subscribe for more. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming out. Peace.